assalamu alaikum viewers now we are here with fsc biology part 1 chapter 2 which are biological molecules first half summary please do not ignore this chapter because so many mcqs and facts are important you can watch the video again and again but one humble request don't download it just watch online Chapter two is long and have so many facts, so we shall discuss this chapter into two parts. In today's discussion, we shall fo focus on first five topics: biochemistry, which is the study of chemical component and processes occurring in living things. There are two things: chemical components and chemical processes. Chemical components include carbohydrate, proteins, lipids, nucleic acid, while chemical processes include photosynthesis, respiration, digestion and muscles contraction etc. So these two things are studied in biochemistry. All the chemical reaction taking place within a cell are collectively called metabolism. Very important thing to note. Now we know that metabolism is of two type: anabolism and catabolism. In anabolism, simpler substances combine to form complex ones, like for example, glucose combine to form starch or cellulose. Another important thing is to note that anabolic reaction need energy, so we can say that anabolic reaction absorb energy. Similarly, catabolic reaction involve breakdown of complex substance into simpler one, for example, breakdown of carbohydrate into glucose. and protein into amino acids and in contrary to anabolic reaction catabolic reaction release energy or energy is evolved these facts are very important to learn and remember please watch the video again and again which is much needed for our encouragement now the great carbon Carbon is central in skeleton of life and is tetravalent. Tetravalent mean it has four valency and can form four covalent bond with other compounds. Covalent bond is formed by sharing of electron and it stores large amount of energy. This is very important fact to remember. And the bond between carbon and hydrogen, carbon hydrogen bond, keep in mind. carbon hydrogen bond is the potential source of energy chemical energy and when this bond break a large amount of energy is released so carbon combine with nitrogen in amino acids to form peptide bond it is also very important mcq large molecule like cellulose fats and protein are insoluble in water and form structure of cells small molecule like glucose amino acids fatty acid and are either source of energy or subunits for macromolecules this fact is quite important to remember atp is the immediate source of energy that is the mcq i have seen in the past paper so the immediate source of energy in metabolism is atp outside the cell and inside also the next point is water facts to remember Human bone cells contain 20% water while brain cells contain 85% water. Water is important because of providing medium biochemical reactions and raw material for photosynthesis. Biochemical reactions means they can act as reactants. So these three points are important that is can act as medium, can act as reactants and raw material for photosynthesis. Being polar it dissolves all organic compounds and polar organic compounds almost all reactions in cell occur in aqueous medium non polar molecule are insoluble in water and maintain membrane compartments you may remember property of like dissolve like polar molecule are soluble in polar molecules and non polar molecule are in soluble in non polar molecules Specific heat capacity of water is one and act as temperature stabilizer. Water act as temperature stabilizer. You may remember that our earth temperature during day and night does not vary because of a various amount of water in oceans. So the earth remains stable. 
हीट ऑफ वेपोराइजेशन ऑफ वाटर इज़ फाइव सेवेंटी फोर किलो कैलोरीज पर किलोग्राम एंड अवेपोरेशन ऑफ टू मिल लीटर रिड्यूस वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर दीज टू पॉइंट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो कीप इन माइंड टेयर्स इन आवर आईज प्रोटेक्ट द सर्फेस ऑफ आई फ्राम रबिंग बिकॉज इट मॉइस्चराइज आवर स्किन प्लीज it is our humble request that watch these facts again and again and remember and keep in mind because it is very very important chapter regarding mcqs in ppsc and fpsc exams the next topic is carbohydrates facts to remember simple carbohydrates are the main source of energy so the use of carbohydrates in living organism is the main source of energy the word carbohydrate means hydrated carbons ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is same in water chemically carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones you can remember that aldehyde or ketones are two functional groups and polyhydroxy means many oh groups aldehyde or ketones carbohydrates combine with protein to form glycoprotein and lipids to form glycolipids these two are conjugated molecules and glyco for carbohydrates protein and lipids respectively both of these serve as extracellular matrix and are component of membranes which to one these two one glycoproteins and glycolipids carbohydrates are also called as saccharides meaning sugar in greek so in greek language saccharide mean sugar carbohydrates are called sugar because are called as saccharide because they are sugars they are of three type monosaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharides next monosaccharides facts to remember they are simple sweet soluble in water and cannot be hydrolyzed because they cannot be further simplerized and cannot be break down into next simple substance so they are they can't be hydrolyzed all carbon in monosaccharide have hydroxyl group except carboxyl carbon carbonyl carbon is the double bonded oxygen carbon which is the functional group of aldehyde and ketones so except that carbon all carbon in monosaccharide have hydroxyl group on either side those having aldehyde group are aldo sugars and ketonic group are keto sugars glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone has same molecular formula which is c3h6o3 and are intermediate in respiration and photosynthesis this mcq has already been asked in ppsc exam that which molecule are intermediate in respiration and photosynthesis and the answer is dihydroxyacetone 3 to 7 carbon monosaccharide are natural tetraces are rare and present in some bacteria most common sugars are pentose and hexose glucose is the most important hexose and is aldose sugar monosaccharides form ring structure in solution like ribose 5 corner into ribofuranose and glucose 6 corner into glucopyranose these two facts are very very important to remember that ribofuranose from ribose 5 corner and glucopyranose from glucose 6 corner having ring structure in solution our blood normally contains 0.08% glucose starch glycogen and cellulose yield glucose on hydrolysis because glucose is the subunit in the structure of starch glycogen and cellulose glucose is naturally produced in green plants only for the synthesis of glucose in photosynthesis 717.6 kilocalories of solar energy is used so in 10 g of glucose this much energy is stored and when glucose molecule break down this energy is released now oligosaccharides 
facts to remember less sweet and less soluble in water and on hydrolysis yield 2 to 10 monosaccharides 2 means um, disaccharides trisaccharide tetrasaccharide pentasaccharide and so on and this fact is very important that oligosaccharide range from 2 to 10 monosaccharides the covalent bond between two monosaccharide is glycosidic bond i repeat the bond between two monosaccharide is glycosidic bond example of oligosaccharide are maltose sucrose and lactose are physiologically important disaccharide these three are disaccharide maltose sucrose and lactose most familiar or most common disaccharide is sucrose obtained from can sugar or sugar can and on hydrolysis yeast yield glucose molecule and fructose molecule please remember this fact because it is very important for biochemistry part glucose molecule and fructose molecule are reducing sugars reducing sugars means that they can reduce other substances by adding electrons in them this is very important facts and have already been asked in papers the next type of carbohydrate is polysaccharide facts to remember polysaccharide are most abundant in nature so which carbohydrate is most abundant in nature polysaccharides they are tasteless and branch and are sparingly soluble in water sparingly means slightly famous polysaccharides are chitin pectin agar dextrin starch cellulose and glycogen first four are very important to remember that are chitin pectin agar dextrin these are famous polysaccharide now starch is the main source of carbohydrate for animals found in fruits grains seeds tubers starches are of two type that is very important to note amylose and amylopectin these are two types of starch very important is that amylose are unbranched and soluble in hot water while amylopectins are branched and insoluble in hot or cold water please remember that hot or cold water it is very important fact amylose are unbranched and soluble in hot water while amylopectins are branched and insoluble in hot or cold water please remember this fact very very important now starches give blue color with iodine that's very important thing to note this color with iodine are very important with all polysaccharides so starches give blue color with iodine polysaccharides facts to remember glycogen called as animal starch which is stored in animal bodies is the chief carbohydrate stored in animals liver and muscles these two organs are important to remember liver and muscles where glycogen is stored it is insoluble in water and give red color with iodine red color with iodine please remember cellulose is the most abundant carbohydrate in nature so which carbohydrate is most abundant speci specifically cellulose and if you want to see cellulose pure form of cellulose is cotton cellulose is the main constituent of cell walls and insoluble in water it is not digested in human digestive tract in herbivores cellulose is digested because of microorganisms like bacteria yeast protozoans in human digestive tract in herbivores cellulose is digested because of microorganisms like bacteria yeast protozoans in digestive tract which secrete cellulose 
cellulose give no color with iodine very very important mcqs to note cellulose give no color with iodine now the next point is lipids lipids are insoluble in water but soluble in ether alcohol chloroform and benzene insoluble in water is not important but in polar substance ether alcohol chloroform and benzene it is important to note they are hydrophobic what hydrophobic means water repellents they repel water they store double energy due to large number of carbon hydrogen bonds they provide insulation and waterproofing like waxes in exoskeleton and cutin on cuticle of epidermis acylic glycerols are composed of glycerol and fatty acid triacyl glycerol are also called triglycerides or natural lipids chemically they are ester of fatty acids and alcohol it is very important mcqs ester of fatty acids and alcohols lipids are ester of fatty acids and alcohol most important component of triglyceride are fatty acids fatty acids contain even number of carbon atom from 2 to 30 this is also very important and have already been asked in ppsc papers that which is the range of fatty acids saturated fatty acids which are in solid having no double bonds while unsaturated having oils may have up to six double bonds this is also very important mcqs animal fatty acids are straight chain while plants are branch or ring keep in mind animal fatty acid are straight chain while plants are branched or ring the melting point of palmitic acid is 6 to 3.1 degree centigrade and butyric acid is minus 8 degree centigrade it is also very important mcqs melting point of palmitic acid is 6 to 3.1 and butyric acid is minus 8 degree centigrade Palmitic acid has 16 carbon while oleic acid has 18 carbon. Palmitic acid has 16 carbon while oleic acid has 18 carbon. Fats and oil has specific gravity of 0.8. Now the lipids which are also waxes. Chemically, they are mixture of odd number long chain alkanes, alcohols, ketones and esters. They are mixture of odd number long chain which has carbon 25 to carbon 35 alcohols ketones and esters they protect water loss and abrasive damage in plants water barrier fur insects birds and sheep remember all these plants water barrier fur insects birds and sheep the next is phospholipids Derivative of phosphatidic acid composed of cholesterol, fatty acids, and phosphoric acid. Choline, ethanolamine, and serine are nitrogenous base present in phospholipids, widespread in bacteria, plants, and animals. Phosphatidylcholine, lectin is the most common phospholipid. And question is, which is the most common phospholipid? which is lactin. Fatty part is non-polar and hydrophobic while phosphate head is polar and hydrophilic. Terpenoids which are made of repeating isoprenoid units. Condensation of isoprenoid unit give rise to rubber, catronides, steroids and terpenes. The time is enough and you are also have got bored. So, in the upcoming video, we shall discuss the remaining topic in detail and conceptual understanding and preparation. Thank you so much for staying with us and please do not download the video. Watch this video again and again online and support us so that we may prolong this effort. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.